Hi there, and welcome back to Retire Your Way with ILG Financial. My name is Chase Lopez. This is Dave Lopez, and we're both investment advisory representatives at ILG Financial. And today, we're going to talk, talk about a very hot topic right now, and that's inflation, and specifically inflation and how it relates to uh, I-bonds. We've been seeing a lot about I-bonds in the news lately, so yeah. why don't we talk about that? Yeah, a lot in the news, mm -hmm. a lot of clients calling Absolutely. about it, so I get into I-bonds. So let's talk about really what are they. Mm -hmm. I-bonds are issued by the United States government, the Treasury right. Department, and they are a bond that gives you two um, what would you say? Two, two rates, really, two right? Two rates. They give you a base rate, and then they give you a rate based on inflation. Right. The inflation, now the base rate's very low, but the inflation rate is adjusted every six months. So mm -hmm. even though you have a rate today in six months, it may be higher or lower. As of the recording of this, I think the combined rate of the base rate and the inflation rate is over 9.5%, mm -hmm. of course, because in interest rates is at Inflation. Sorry, inflation yeah. thanks to, mm -hmm. is at 40-year highs. Right. So you can see how attractive that would be. So it's an I-bond for you. Let's kind of dig into it. Yeah. Okay, so what are the benefits, Chase, can you think of, of the I-bond? Yeah, well, 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 the first benefit, of course, is when inflation is high, like we're seeing right now, uh, you're getting a great uh, interest rate or a great uh, rate of return on that investment. Um, so that would immediately be attractive to folks who maybe have money in regular bonds, right? They're certainly not going to pay as much or as anybody. Yeah, Stocks, yeah. anything, right? Yeah. You want to keep up with inflation. Right, right. Right now, it's kind of keeping up with inflation. Inflation, right. as of the recording of this, is 8 to 9 percent, depending on who you, what, what, what number you look, look at. at. Right. Uh, and right now, the, as of July of 2022, this bond was paying temporarily about 9.6 percent. Right. Right. So mm -hmm. keeping up with inflation is a huge advantage. Yep. I would say the second advantage to it is the safety. Exactly. Right? It's issued exactly. by the federal government. So right. it's got the full faith and backing. It's as safe as you can get. The right. Treasury Department's backing it. Uh, can't really get any safer than that as right. far as getting return of principal back. Right. Uh, so it's safe. Right. And right now it's trying to keep up with inflation. So what right. are the disadvantages to an I-bond? Yes. Well, the first disadvantage we kind of touched on it a little bit, is uh, the interest rate varies based on what the inflation reading is, and, and that's every six months. So every uh, six months, uh, you'll see that uh, rate change on your, on your I-bond, and it reflects how inflation is going. So uh, a great mm -hmm. statistic that Dave actually showed me uh, was the U.S. Treasury had about a million I-bonds altogether before last yes. November. Right, and since last November, so about six months now, they've had 1.5 million people the new accounts. New accounts. So they basically 150% uh, up on accounts, uh, which just goes to show how attractive these are. Which is why we're doing this video. Yes. Right. The interest <laughs> in these I bonds right. has gone through the roof. So one of the disadvantages is that current rate of roughly nine and a half percent. Right. Isn't guaranteed. Right. If interest uh, inflation goes down you're going to see the rate go down. But arguably, if you're getting them to keep up with inflation, then right. that's okay too, I guess. Right. right. Another disadvantage would be you're limited. You can only get $10,000 in an I-bond per year per person. Right. So you can't go put $100,000 in these things. So right. for many, that becomes a problem of the amount uh, for many, not everyone, yeah. is so low relative to their net worth that it's not worth the hassle to just do it for 10000 But you have to be the judge of that, right? You can do it if you're married, your spouse and you can do it, you and your, all your children can, everyone can do it, but only 10000 a year per person. Correct. Yep. Okay. Um, the other thing we had discussed earlier, other disadvantage, is we can't use retirement funds for this, right? So this is money that's already been taxed. Uh, a great example would be possibly extra money sitting in your bank account, right? You have a lot of money sitting in a, uh, a high yield savings account. That's or a CD. Or a CD, right. 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 Earning one or two percent, you might consider putting 10,000 of it right. in an I-bond. Right, but if you have an IRA or a 401k, you're not going to be able to use yeah, uh, I-bonds with Roth, Roth, Roth either. He won't be able yeah. to use I-bonds. Another either. disadvantage is mm -hmm. that you, do, you are locked in for one year. So right. you don't right. want to use money you think you're going to need. Great point. We call it an emergency fund right. in the next 12 to 18 months at a minimum. Right. Right. So it's got to be money that you would have locked away for a year. And even after the year, for a total of five years, Right. after the first year you can move the money out, but from years 
two, two through five, five right. if you pull the money out, you lose three months' worth of interest, which isn't a killer. It's not a huge surrender penalty, can, right. especially if you are earning nothing in the bank. Right. But know that that is a, another disadvantage to it. So yep. it's not quite as liquid as sitting in the bank in return exactly. for the better return. And I would suggest the last uh, disadvantage just mm -hmm. to be aware of is the really the way to get these is you have to go on the Treasury site's website. Yeah, you have to get it directly from them. Yeah, and open an account. You right. can't get it through us or through financial advisors. Not or, or your Robinhood account or Charles Schwab account. You yeah. can't do it there. And not right. that you necessarily would need to go through us right. to do it. You wouldn't. Right. Well, what we're saying is, is you kind of have to go through a government site and depending on your experience with government websites, you may have a good experience or not. Many right. don't. They, it's the bureaucracy that goes with mm -hmm. government sites. But many have found it very cumbersome yeah. to get in, open the account. You know, on occasion, people have reported that they try to get in and the government can't uh, confirm their identity. Right. And right. then there's extra bureaucratic steps they have to go through and it can be a headache. Mm -hmm. But it may be worth it for a higher interest rate. Exactly. So I think we covered it. I think so. Win. I think so. So uh, if you like the video today um, and you want to keep up with us moving forward, just go ahead and hit the like, subscribe, and the uh, bell there at the bottom uh, so you can keep up with us in the future. Thanks for joining us. Have a good day.